I'm Heather Dawson, and it's a pleasure bringing you the best of California every week on our show. You know, there's nothing quite like sharing great moments with loved ones over a glass of wine. But when it comes to choosing the right wine yourself, it can be overwhelming. The complexity in the industry doesn't help the consumer. To be able to choose a wine effectively, you have to memorize all these details. I don't find that fun and I don't find that fair. We've all been there, standing in front of a wall of wine bottles, feeling unsure about which one to pick. With First Leaf Wines, those days are over. Their personalized wine selection is an adventure crafted just for you. To make it simple, we ask consumers some basic questions around if they like these regions, if they like these grapes or these styles, they can tell us what other kinds of foods they like. How, how do you take your coffee or, or how would you take your tea? And so from these basic questions, we can build up this, this taste profile. The algorithm will pick the wine that matches those taste preferences. First Leaf samples over 10,000 wines each year, curating a selection that brings together the best from around the globe. That's about 96% accurate after just three ratings. The winemakers, the wine buyers, they're also looking at the data and that's helping us design the whole portfolio. Even seasoned wine professionals like Philip have faced the challenges of selecting the perfect bottle. I still struggle and dislike picking wine in a, in a restaurant and in a grocery store. I think the wine industry has sort of accidentally gone out of its way to make it unapproachable to the consumer. We're trying to make it easier for the average person who likes wine. We're just trying to help give you the confidence to make that choice. Thanks to First Leaf's strong relationships with top wine producers, they can offer exceptional wines directly to their members, cutting out the middleman and saving you up to 60% off retail prices. And the way people enjoy wine has evolved too. The dominant trend has been, you know, more casual, more ready to drink. People drink wine on its own. And with summer, First Leaf has your back with a fantastic selection of crisp, light, and refreshing wines perfect for any occasion. In every instance, we're just trying to help give you the confidence to make that choice. With First Leaf Wines, every sip becomes an exploration and every bottle is chosen with you in mind. Start your wine adventure today and uncork a world of personalized wine selections. For California Life, this is Jennifer Mashinsky. Looking for something to do? Well, our movie reviewer, Alicia Stanford, has details on a movie made for kids and gamers. Fate has no mercy. Stellan Skarsgård is a prince out for revenge after seeing his father murdered by his enemies in The Northmen. Think Hamlet on steroids, killing everything in his way. The film is visually stunning, but way too violent for my taste. But if you can handle it, it's worth the price of the ticket. The movie has an astonishing cast that includes Nicole Kidman, Ethan Hawke, Willem Dafoe, and Anya Taylor-Joy. But I'm gonna get this next role. And when I do, all of that changes. Then I'm back. Not that you went anywhere. Nicolas Cage plays a fictionalized version of himself in the unbearable weight of massive talent. This Nick is cash strapped and agrees to appear at a wealthy man's party for a million dollars. Nice work if you can get it. The two quickly bond, but it turns out the rich guy, played by Pablo Pascal, got rich as a crime boss. The actor is drafted by Tiffany Haddish's CIA agent to spy on the kingpin, and hilarity ensues. This quirky comedy captures the Oscar winner at his best. You ever wonder what it'd be like if the world wasn't scared of us? Perception is everything, and a chance encounter with a sweet older lady makes the big bad wolf reconsider the bad part of his reputation in The Bad Guys. He and his motley crew then try to go straight, although it's not always easy. This funny and fast-paced comedy is great for all ages and has some terrific voice work from Sam Rockwell, Aquafina, Anthony Ramos, and many others. And coming up on California Life, Bridgerton Season 2 is giving fans a good reason to stay home with a cup of tea or two. I've got details coming up. 
you know, Dracula is supposed to sustain himself for a month out there. So he brings on board, in one of the crates, he brings on board a, a woman from a nearby village from where he, from his castle, that they sacrifice to him. And so that he can have the blood supply he needs for the journey. So eventually they, the crew, find her and they take her out of his hands. So now he's lost, he doesn't have any blood supply. So he starts attacking the animals. He starts attacking, the, eventually, of course, the crew. Um, so, and they don't know what's going on and she doesn't really know what's going on either. Uh, so, yeah. To me, Dracula is a 400 year old man uh, and that should show in his character and that should show in his presence in the movie. He's also, as the movie starts, or at least as we get on the boat and he loses his blood supply, he's a character who is like an addict who, who, or he needs his blood as we need food in a way also. So it's not just an addict, it's just necessary to live. So that aspect to him, the need to, to regenerate himself in a way, is a huge aspect to a certain section of the movie. Clemens is very unique in the way that he is one of the very few black men who were able to get into a university at the time, like Cambridge, like where he studied. But because of the color of his skin, he was never taken seriously when he applied for work afterwards, even though he was a doctor. So he kind of traveled around in a, a capacity that was near his father's occupation and eventually uh, ended up in Varna at the same time and going back to England. And he kind of by some accidents or, and con you know, conviction, he, uh, he gets back on board the ship. And his capacity as a doctor makes it possible for Anna to, when, when they find her, she's drained of blood, but he knows how to do a blood transfusion with very simple means, the way they did it back then. Uh, and in a way, therefore, keep her from becoming uh, you know, a different type of presence. Living with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis can be isolating and frustrating. Psoriasis is a chronic autoimmune disease that affects about 7.5 million people in the U.S. alone. Plaque psoriasis is a chronic autoimmune skin condition characterized by red or pink daily patches and plaques. They could be brown or purplish in a more darker skinned individual. Natika Chopra has been dealing with plaque psoriasis for years and knew from a young age that something was wrong with her health. It was a really challenging time. It was sort of this time in my life where I was learning about myself and trying to figure out who I am and, you know, all of those normal things that people go through. But then I had this condition on top of all of that. And I found myself getting bullied and teased at school. I found myself isolating. Over time, Natika learned how to cope with the realities of living with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis and has become a patient advocate. And as part of Psoriasis Action Month, Natika and Dr. Strober are partnering with Bristol Myers Squibb on the Clear Understanding Campaign. Psoriasis is so much more than a skin condition, and I think that's why I'm so excited about the Clear Understanding Campaign, which we're talking about today and to be here on behalf of Bristol Myers Squibb because it is something that so many people are dealing with, but you can often feel so alone in it. In conjunction with the Clear Understanding Campaign, Bristol Squibb Myers is publicizing a promising new drug called Sutictu. It's a prescription medicine and it's unique because it targets a protein in the body called TIC2. And we believe TIC2 is part of why psoriasis occurs in patients, therefore targeting it, inhibiting TIC2 with the medicine so TIC2, Ducrabacitinib, is potentially effective in many people. And Dr. Strober advises that patients should always check with their doctor for the best treatment options. If you or someone you know is suffering from moderate to severe plaque psoriasis, check out the Clear Understanding campaign. Folks can visit clear-understanding.com in order to learn more about the Clear Understanding campaign and to see other patients and their stories and hear how they are living and feeling empowered with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Bringing you the best of California, I'm David Wiley for California Life. 
The appliance industry made a big comeback during the pandemic with the increasing popularity of renewing your home and appliances. But for one retailer, the archaic process of shopping for appliances is gone as new technology has upheaved the experience for the consumer and the industry. Our very own Kiori Take caught up with John Riddle, CEO of Howard's Appliance, to discuss the transformation of the appliance industry. While some businesses struggle during the pandemic, the appliance industry seems to have thrived. Uh, since you know, March of 20, we know that consumers were thinking more and more about creating a benefited uh, situation at home, being able to have healthier meals, being able to take care of things from a chore standpoint. And all of those things sort of led into improvements uh, in the home. And certainly economically as well, they had funding uh, discretionary income that was maybe destined for other places, uh, vacations or outside meals uh, and so forth. And so all those factors came together uh, to create really a robust market for major appliances. Howard's Appliance envisioned and created amazing multiple experience centers where now you can really immerse yourself in an exclusive appliance and home improvement shopping experience. We know that the consumer, Kaori, wants to be able to try things out and test stuff before they take them home. We've developed experience centers that are large. This is a 22,000 square foot display of hundreds of major appliances that you can turn on, try, cook on, do laundry, check the dishwasher on how you like the loading, all of wow. those factors so that you get really engaged in the experience the Experience Centers guarantees the latest in technology and appliances. The vision for the Experience Center is really twofold. One is to be able to allow the consumer to play with technology, particularly things today that are on the product roadmaps of all the major manufacturers in smart AI connected appliances. You'll also receive first class and knowledgeable customer service. It's also the engagement process with our associates at Howard's. We spend a lot of time on educating and training our associates. And you can come in and create a QR code that allows you the next time that you come to see the things that you liked. It's a good way of improving a process that I think has become less than desirable over the years. And the cherry on top? The delivery and installation is reliable and top-notch. One of the key things about what Howard's is doing really is also in the delivery and installation. Uh, when you order from Howard's, you're going to have a Howard's truck show up with trained folks that are very accomplished at doing an extremely good job, both from a protocol and safety standpoint, but also to make sure that the things that are being done in your home are handled in a very, very first class fashion. To get your Howard's experience, head over to www.howards.com. Home sales continue to be historically high, and even though the spring housing market is projected to heat up, there is good news for home buyers trying to compete for limited inventory. Two months of price stability could be the start of a welcome trend, allowing buyers a chance to finally purchase the home of their dreams at a price they can afford. Here's more. The housing market is sizzling, and many people feel like they're getting burned. Available homes are snapped up before an offer is even made. A lot of home buyers have fatigue. They may have been trying to get into the market last year because it has been so competitive. And there are a lot of factors that are on buyer's sides. Prices are stabilizing due to higher interest rates. And REMAX CEO Nick Bailey says that's a good combination. Interest rates are certainly at the forefront of the conversation right now. Uh, but I think what buyers have to realize, rates are still historically low. They may be a little higher than last year, but the offset in price appreciation has created some level of balance. And at the end of the day, buyers are really thinking about, do I have the right down payment? Can I afford the monthly mortgage? Bailey also suggests getting a good team to help you. Go to Remax.com. You can find a local agent. You can gather information on what's happening in the market overall um, nationwide or for your local area. Again, for more tips, go to Remax.com. The U.S. spends twice per person what other developed countries do on health care, yet we're less healthy. 
Fixing a broken healthcare system starts with a doctor many Americans may not be seeing. Here's more details. Want to stay healthy? Then see your primary care physician. The stats indicate you'll benefit. Primary care is a great place to help us detect problems early, to manage chronic conditions, and to figure out where the right place to go, and that can lead to better health and better outcomes. The U.S. spends twice as much per person on health care than other developed countries, yet we're less healthy. We need to focus our health care system on creating a greater access to affordable primary care, and we need to focus uh, our health care system on the physical and mental health of patients over the course of their lifespan, uh, not just focusing on them when they are sick. So how do patients influence change? Each of us uh, as patients and as advocates for a better health care system should communicate with our employers, uh, our elected officials or, or other uh, individuals who can influence health policy. And I think as patients, uh, we are the ones who would benefit and we have a real role in advocating for this. For more, visit primarycareforamerica.org. Well, you can never be too careful with scams, and the Better Business Bureau is here to help. Jason Rosillo talks to the BBB about the threat of the season as people are looking to make a quick buck, and they might get scammed in the process. Kyle Larson just took the checkered flag here at the Wise Power 400. I'm Jason Rosillo, reporting from the Auto Club Speedway of Southern California. Had runs early on where we'd be tight and then the next run we'd be loose and then we were able to kind of narrow that window down there it seemed like uh, around halfway and, and that's when I felt like we were gonna have a decent shot to, to win so um, yeah fun race uh, a lot of hard work by everybody on our team and, and proud of everybody's effort <laughs> Larson blocked Chase Elliott with 20 laps to go, which caused him to hit the wall. Larson later stated he did not know his teammate was directly behind him. So I didn't get through three and four very well. Joey did a good job on the bottom, and then you know, we were side drafting each other, and I'm, I'm not even looking at my mirror at that point because all I'm worried about is Joey, and I'm looking out of my A-post window, and I had a run, so I went to peel off, and as soon as I peeled off, my spotter was yelling, outside, 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 and uh, I had no clue he was even coming to do a five-wide salute for their fans. It's become a tradition here at the Auto Club Speedway. It feels great. Yeah, I think they're holding it later in the month, and that's why, because we had some rain earlier in February. Yeah. So you can tell by the fans, we're all excited to be back. Yeah. Yes. Now, this is the 25th anniversary of this track, so do you have any memories that you'd like to uh, share? Well, I think this track was the one that we did the uh, car rides, that they had uh, cars you could ride in with a professional driver to feel how fast you would go and how they cornered in the uh, in the corners. And then we had uh, we had paid to come back again to drive our own cars. Once again, Kyle Larson is your winner here at the Wise Power 400, bringing you the best of California. From the Auto Club Speedway in Fontana, I'm Jason Rosidlo for California Life. And that's it for us. If you missed any part of our show, please go to our website, CaliforniaLifeHD.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. I'm your host, Heather Dawson. We'll see you next time. Watch us on our YouTube channel. Stay connected to our social media, like our blogs on Facebook. Follow our tweets on Twitter. And check out our posts on Instagram and Pinterest, where we bring you the best of California.